Hey, what's up guys? David here from Dignited. Today, I want to show you how you can remotely access your NAS drive from anywhere using the internet. All right, let's get into it. All right, the first thing that you want to do is to log in into the NAS drive. So enter the IP address that you use to access your NAS drive. And for my case, it's 192.168.0.120 and the port is 5000 right here. And as you can see, I'm already signed in, but if you're not signed in already, then you'll have to sign in using the credentials that you use to set up this particular uh, Synology NAS drive, right? Yes. So here is my Synology NAS drive and currently I can access it from my local network and you can see I'm accessing it from this IP address which is local to the network all right and all my devices here at home can actually access it but if I stepped out probably I've gone to a coffee shop or work or I've gone out of the country and traveled and I still need to access my Synology NAS drive how can I do it well number one you have to make sure that your NAS drive is connected to the internet and is powered on that is a prerequisite right so if that is met then simply come to control panel here and then under connectivity you can see external access right here so click on this tab external access right here all right and the first tab that you'll see here is quick connect and this is what you'll need to enable so quick connect makes it easy to connect to your nas drive from anywhere just enable quick connect below and register for a synology account all right so i already did this but essentially what you'll have to do is to check this checkbox here and then choose a quick connect id or actually a username all right so i chose mine here and essentially that quick connect id or username can only include english letters numbers and dashes right yeah so this is a bit like choosing like a twitter username facebook username and so forth it's the same thing all right then to connect to your synology nas drive from anywhere typically through a web browser you will have to use this link here which is quick connect dot two forward slash your quick connect id right so once this has been assigned to you then this is what you're going to do you're just going to click on this all right so let's look at uh, what's under advanced here so this includes port forwarding rules and permission settings essentially these are automatically enabled for you if everything checks out for example your router passes the compatibility test the port forwarding rules will automatically be created for your quick connect service right all right so just click on that quick connect url there okay right so it's uh, establishing the connection and essentially it's giving me a custom url here which is my username dot cv5 dot quick connect dot two so this is going to vary depending on on the device or on the account right so it's going to be different for your case right so if i've stepped out to a coffee shop if I've stepped out somewhere, I've traveled, then I just simply have to click on this particular URL here, right? Yeah, so this is different for everybody. All right, so now I have access to my files remotely here and I can just quickly, you know, just get files here, download them. If I need to download a specific file here, all right, I just simply have to download it and you can see this is going to depend on your internet connection so if your internet connection is slow then the download is going to be slow but if you have a fast internet connection then it's going to be quite fast right and then of course i can also just upload files right yeah i can just quickly upload files here so i'll just simply click on skip and it's right there uploading again this is going to depend on how fast your internet connection is right so you can actually now access your synology nas drive and the files from anywhere where you have an internet connection using quick connect i totally love this feature here because when people think about nas drives they only think about file access and file sharing on a local area network but not outside of that network but now with this feature here you can actually access your nas drive from anywhere else 
and it's the same experience you get with cloud services which you have to pay a hefty amount of money for right so for example for google drive i'll have to pay at least two dollars per month for 100 gb right yeah so that is our quick tutorial on how to access your nas drive remotely over the internet if you like this video go ahead and give us a like subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon to be notified of future videos otherwise i'll see you guys in the next one